Starting today, non-citizens enrolled in health care programs will have to start paying co-pays. In June, we told you Governor Pritzker announced this rule changing this rule change aiming to address the costs within the program. State Capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris live in our Capitol newsroom. Theodora, so what's the response been? Brandon, advocates for the program are against the copay, saying it puts a burden on patients and providers. Republicans also don't think the copays will have an impact on addressing the costs of the health care plans. After a health care program for non-citizens was expected to come in well over budget, Governor Pritzker announced changes in an effort to bring down the costs, including putting copays in place, which the Department of Health Care and Family Services delayed implementing. But it really is not enough to fully prepare an entire community about the changes that are going to happen to the health care plan. The copays apply to certain areas. For non-emergency inpatient hospitalizations, people will pay a $250 copay per stay. For non-emergency hospital outpatient services or surgical treatment centers, it's 10% of what HFS would pay a provider. Still, the amount could vary based on what services a patient receives or who they're seeing. Advocates for the programs oppose the copays, warning of the impact it could have on people enrolled in them. We think that um, the the new changes, right, will cause um, fear, confusion, misinformation in the community members, and all of this impacts, um, how, you know, whether someone will feel comfortable using their medical insurance or not. The agency decided not to move forward with a $100 copay for non-emergency services that people could be going to the ER for. Advocates have praised that decision. Republicans want to see the program eliminated and say copays aren't enough to help bring down the costs. The governor had over 18 months to put cost control measures, real cost control measures in place on this program. And as the governor prepares to unveil his budget in the coming weeks for the upcoming fiscal year, the cost of the program still leaves Republicans with concerns. We have a scarcity of funds in in, uh, in the state of Illinois, and we have a lot of needs in plowing nearly a billion dollars a year into this program is taking and crowding out other needs that have historically existed in, in Illinois for decades. We reached out to the governor's office for comment, but we did not hear back. Other changes that the governor made have also been in effect to address the costs of the program. That includes a pause on new enrollments for people 42 and up. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulabaris, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Theodora, thank you.